Hello boys and girls, my name is Otto C and welcome to another day in Minecraft. After the long dragon build, I'm back at my base for some more detailing. I want to add some vehicles that make sense in the context of the oil refinery and the ships. This should bring a bit more life in here. I put in some boring walls here on this side, but that gives us a bit more space and a key down here uh, that I can then use for loading. And here I have created a tunnel entrance uh, where I will place a few layers of black glass so towards the back it should get darker. I completed a few oil trucks. The uh, original design is by Godcrafter UK. I'll link in the description down below. And Karelis has a wonderful tutorial out for them. And as you can see, there are a few variations, different color, different build palettes. I especially like this one as it's quite a bit different and I think the nicest view we can get from uh, this side here um, yeah so this is uh, finished now and we will have more vehicles over there they will probably be a bit bigger uh, I think uh, three wide uh, vehicles, that's the, the smallest you can get. But I think those over there will be four or five wide. We will see. Uh, but um, first I have to do a bit of infrastructure here uh, before placing in the trucks. I added two cranes down here and already this makes a big difference. This one is based on a design by RTS World and both cranes are heavily inspired by builds Keralis did on Hermicraft Season 7 with his wonderful port scene. So this blue crane here that's basically a, a direct copy i only rotated the uh, the top part here and this one is probably used to lift uh, cargo from the uh, lower portion up here on uh, this deck where we will have uh, one or two uh, uh, lorries uh, taking things away then here on the uh, lower part, we have actually a container unloading crane. And uh, as you are uh, observant here, you will notice that this container here is quite a bit larger than the ones over there. So those are basically too wide. This one is three wide. Um, it just fit better with this dimension. And probably we will also have some containers and lorries that are four wide. So I'm not really bothered with that inconsistency. And another thing is we have tracks going all the way back there, but we have a wall here in place uh, and a crane on top so I imagine that the uh, the top bar here can be moved left and right uh, so this can be dealt with so let's have a flyby I think uh, from over here we can actually see the cranes in all their glory even here on top there is there's quite a bit of uh, a detail uh, added 
to make this look more realistic and then of course here with, with all the, the counterweights. So the last step here is uh, actually bringing uh, a few more trucks in that can take away the containers. I think it's, it's mainly containers that are unloaded here on this side. So I will be back one more time. The last two vehicles trucks are in place and at least uh, up here uh, space is already a bit cramped. Uh, I saw that this space up here that's that's where I will have to uh, fill in more but then again I did not really think of what to do down there and there we can see we have a truck that is full right. Uh, we can probably see it better from this side. Um, expecting a three wide container and it's bent on this side and it was a, a close fit. So. Uh, uh, the truck driver will have quite a bit uh, of work to do get to get out of here but this is the basic design for these trucks and uh, I uh, tried to vary the, the front part a bit uh, for this one uh, also here uh, the uh, trucks uh, are heavily inspired by what I've seen in uh, uh, Kerala's uh, port and here we have another design here uh, with these iron trap doors powered from below so they mm. are standing up and then these uh, cool looking crane that can move about and load the uh, vehicles on here. So this episode was a quite uh, vehicle heavy one with several oil trucks, two cranes uh, and uh, more trucks over here and I frankly I put this off a bit because I, I I feared the uh, the building of the vehicles but if you have a good example good tutorials it's not that complicated and uh, I think the result came out nicely so with that uh, we are at the end of this episode we still have a few loose ends to tie up in this world like that one behind there but then we should be pretty much finished so uh, until next time when we will do more building on another day in minecraft goodbye